it's time. Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing, as you can see, I'm super original with the personalities that I get for these Lumians. <laughs> okay, I promise, I promise I will do a different personality in the next video, I just wanted to get, because everyone else, like, people already did the smart, the nimble version of the second cracked form, I wanted to do it unique, yeah. So in today's video, I'm going to be using the SA one. Now this might replace Festifer. It's got Regift. And as you know, I love Regift. Very, very, very much. Um, yeah, um, this thing is, in my opinion, is gonna be the most unkillable thing in the game. With Regift. Um, I hate this. Um, so Slumber was here. Peace of Mind was here. So that means I would put you here and you up here. And if I go out, it would... Look how smart I am. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, I'm going to be using Peace of Mind, Meter Crash, Psychoblast, and Slumber. The, literally the same set I had on the normal one. Now, if you want one that is bulky and will stay in the game way longer, use the normal ability. But if you want one... I traded this, by the way. If you want one that is immune to freaking everything... Like, listen, think about this. Peace of Mind, right? Boost your, since we had 200 melee defense, and look at that melee defense, we're already very powerful. And then boost our range defense, Protonite's melee, like, we'll be able to live for so long. If you see, if you get rid of the metal types, this thing, I think will be the most, it'll be, it's gonna be overpowered. Like, with Slumber, you can't get provoked, you can't get, po you can't get worn down. Only way to hit it is with actual damage, residual damage, like poison and stuff, and burn. It can't hurt it. Because you can just slumber off it. You can just slumber it if you do end up getting, like, muck blasted or something. But you won't... You, like... With peace of mind, you're gonna have enough defenses so you can live this. Like, if you had heavy armor, you would never die. But, like, it's just gonna be so powerful. Like, with the plus one and the already monstrously high... It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. I don't know why no one's really talking about how good regift is gonna be. But, like, that means I'll be able to swap in on things. And it's gonna, it's gonna be perfect. With sluggish... You will underspeed very robust Luminami with um, 40 speed UPs. But if it goes down to 29 speed UPs, you will not underspeed it. You will outspeed it. But actually, 20, 20, 28 speed UPs, um, and you will get a speed tie. 28 to 28 to 29, you'll get a speed tie, and then 30 to 40, you will underspeed the Luminami, a very sluggish one. So then you get the damage on their teammate that they're trying to protect. Yes, I did those calculations. Um, yeah, this is literally the same set because this is my regift set I was gonna make. I'll probably end up doing another Enchanted Coat one eventually, but yeah, I'm so overly hyped to use this because you already know I adore Festifer. Um, I need to get different blow talks. I'm planning on adding blow talks to my team because it's good. Also, with this Cosmore, it's gonna probably replace Festifer. So everyone that loves Festifer probably might, might be replaced. I'm still thinking about it. I if I have two regift users, wait. With my two regift users, <laughs> okay. That this is gonna be fun because look, like if you die, we just bounce back the actual traps with you. We bounce it like. Bolt 2 re users is going to be awesome. I'm really excited, and this can actually, finally, help me counter a few things that I absolutely hate. Because our best ancient type move is Primal Slash on this team. Yeah, I, I'm just going to talk about this thing all day, because I adore Regift. It's my favorite ability. Because they're trying to hypnotize you. See ya. And we can even set up on Nymures. We can set up on Nymures. I'm, I'm so excited. As soon as Slumber gets fixed, this thing's going to be unkillable. I genuinely do not think you are going to be able to kill this thing without a Hunter or a Protagon if it doesn't have peace of mind set up. It will be impossible to kill this thing. You have to be very careful of this thing. It's it's so tanky. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop complaining about it. We're not complaining, talking about it. And we'll get into the first battle. All right, we're going to get into the first battle. I am really excited to do this. I hate your team. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Anyway. <laughs> This looks like a little bit of an annoying team, but his team pretty much gets completely countered by Ventation, which is really funny. Um, Regift. 
I'm so excited to lose this thing, man. I can just give my piece of mind up and everything you have is gonna get hurt really hard. Unfortunately, Slapdown might be very, very lethal. That's why we gotta be a little wary of it. That's why we got you, so we can take those Slapdowns and get our soft waters up. We'll bring you for the... Actually, we don't need you. We got you for the freaking lunatic blow toxins now. We got to set up on them. Um, and we got you for the Metatoad, and pretty much from there, his entire team would, would die to you if we can kill you. So we're gonna bring you, and I'm looking at it, and I think the Robo is my, is my best lead. I think it's gonna be my best lead. So look at this. Haven't used a Festifer in a while. So yours. Yes! Perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. You're not gonna stay in. Realistically, you're not gonna stay in. You're probably just gonna go into Eclipse, and I could Mega Punch. To just get damage off the Eclipse. So, um... Even if he swaps, I'm fine with it. Because I don't have very much for the doohickey dude, though, unfortunately. Really, I only have Alvin. That's actually unfortunate. We could predict your switch and go into Invitation, but I'm going to Mega Punch predicting you swapping, because I do not think you're going to stay in and Quick Punch me. Oh my god, let's go! I love predictions like that. That was awesome. Now, does he poison? Because he's probably just going to poison predicting the Ventation Swap, then that would really, really be sucky for our longevity, but I'll do it anyway. Then I could swap into Cosmior and then re-gift it. It really depends if he goes for like, poison or something. Get a battery ram. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to... I don't think he would poison here, actually. I think he would swap into most likely Luminami. So, I want to be healthy with Ventation. But even if you do go for poison, that might be more worth it than killing it. If you go into Luminami, I get to set up my peace of mind. So, I'm going to do this double. I'm going to do the double into Cosmior. That's a very robust Garbantis, 100%, but now it dies to program Metal Blast, and you can get with the poison. Give me the satisfaction doing it with the Cosmo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! That was awesome. I accepted the poison though, but that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna geyser. Quite an interesting question from. He's gonna deal damage to me, of course. I could brace and maybe with two hits. Nah, we don't have two hits. We killed the Garbantis, which is definitely what we wanted to do. And we do have Theo and Vesperatu for the Ursul, so I'm not that scared of the Ursul anymore. Got the Assault, it's gonna do some damage. Oof, that did a lot of damage. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, if he hits me, he's dead. If he hits me, that's dead. I don't care. He might even just go for the hit just to get rid of me. Sorry, I'm having to answer a question from someone. All right, um, copy over. Mm, that's gonna be unfortunate. But does a robust 200, 172 health take a sharp claws Yursal slap down? Then we KO it back. Let's find out. I don't, we don't even, no, we don't even KO it back. Yeah, there's no point in that, we don't even KO it back. He chased the- oh, we knew he was gonna swap. Smarty pants boy, isn't he? I'm gonna stop down. Click the swap. Is it to clips? Did, did he have to clips? He did have to clips. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about the clips. <laughs> Uh, forgot about that. Cross me up. And then I will set up my peace of mind. This man he knew. We just lost to Teclips. Yeah, that's gonna be our, our GG. We lose to the Teclips here. Unfortunate. That's gonna be the GG there against the Eclipse. I wasn't focusing. I was focusing on something else. Uh. I didn't even see what I got. I'm not even focusing. And we'll live it pretty easily. Oh, he crits me. <laughs> Be honored to battle you next. Oh my. This melee attack. Um we were just alright, now nah, we died to the luminous. Eh, I wasn't even, I was barely even paying attention. I time to type. I completely forgot what I was doing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was I was barely even like yeah, I'm not I wasn't focusing. It's fine though. I want to use this thing properly. I'm gonna see ya. Yeah. I will put my full attention to the next battle. I shouldn't have lost that, but I did. I shouldn't have lost that, but I did. I was not focused. <laughs> anyway, into the next battle. All right, we're gonna get into the next battle. It took me so long to type down everything that someone asked me to do. It took me a very long time. It was every exclusive move. It took a very long time, but I freaking did it. I'm gonna leave with you. A lot of drop of youth on your team. 100%. All drop of youth. I'm not gonna make the mistake of not bringing Fats over again. I'm actually gonna pay attention now because I was busy. No joke. It took me. It's been 15 minutes since the last battle I did. It's been a while. I haven't battled in like 15 minutes. So I'm probably gonna suck. And I'm gonna blame society. Slap down. A little scary. So we're gonna go into meditation. Because we really do not want to take the slap down. It's gonna take me a little bit to figure out how to play Cosmior and find its weaknesses. What? I should use a Blood Drain Vest Brogdon. Yeah, a lot of Lumines have a lot of exclusive moves. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Thunderstrike. 
Mm -hmm. Huh, let's see. Thunder Strike, going to Fest for Beta Down to Alvin, win the speed tie. Easily. What did he just use? Did he just use Power Siphon? That's like four damage. What what a tactic. I'm so distracted right now. What's gonna be? What are you gonna swap in? What are you gonna swap in? Go burn. Get terrifying? Terrifying drop of youth? I'm gonna guess I was ranged attack from that freaking damage. <laughs> You got elemental burst. You're still going to Cosmo. Cosmo or Cosmo or Storm Summon. Mm. Drop a few Stoze app is viable now, right? So I should be able to live the elemental burst. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I should be able to live it. After one piece of mine, I can get my slumber off, but I have to really hope Jamie fixed it. <laughs> Let me see the last time this game was updated. <laughs> he did not. Wait. Wait. So, the upside to this is that, like, I, I'm probably gonna use both. I'm gonna go sleep, just because I don't want this paralysis to really cripple me down. <laughs> but, holy, holy crap, I'm so excited to use it. Because, um, think about this, think about it in this perspective, is I am, I can go to sleep, right? I can put myself to sleep, um, and I can, I can't be provoked, can't be poisoned, can't be burned, can't, I can't get status because I can just go to sleep. And with peace of mind, I can be, I can deal so much damage, and if you kill the metal types, I think this thing is going to be like a late game cleaner. But it needs time to set up, and it looks like an Ultra Beast Ball now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> so, Jamie still hasn't fixed it. As soon as he fixes it, this thing's gonna be unkillable. I swear. Like, you're not gonna be able to kill this thing. No matter what you do, you can't kill this thing. With Enchanted Coat, I genuinely think you cannot kill this if you're gonna use, like, the set I was using. Like, I genuinely think you won't be able to. Literally, if, if you let it, if it gets a swap in on you, like, I think its best counters are going to be metal types. Metal types, you have to have a metal type in your team now. If you don't, you will die to Cosmere Roar. I like Cosmere Roar. That's weird. Cosmere Roar. Yeah, you will 100% die to it. Because what if, what if you tried to provoke me? Like, if you, if you provoke them, like, you have a slow provoker user, or, like, Vanolin or something, that cannot 1v1 this thing, you're gonna poison it. Because you're thinking, like, oh, I'm gonna get the poison off, right? <laughs> Just kidding. No. You can't. <laughs> Did I get elemental bursted and then paralyzed? But, yeah. I, I think this thing's gonna be extremely overpowered like that's a plus two with no range defense no range attack investment ridiculous i'm gonna go sleep i'm trying to play this thing like how i would play it if a slumber actually worked it's doing 26 damage and we are paralyzed all right well hope it doesn't go through again because i want to go to sleep so go to sleep <laughs> also who watched the new loki episode so it's great. <laughs> like, look at this. Think, like, I I hunted for this thing for so long, and all I had to do was trade off a GR I didn't want. <laughs> I don't know why but that made me sound like, oh my god, I'm not rich. 
please, Jamie, tell me you fixed it. Like, I really don't get it. If you have a bug, I think if, if it's this bad where slumber doesn't actually work, you should fix it, and you shouldn't delay it until, like, a lengthy city. Like, Sly doesn't seem like that hard of an ability to fix, but it's broken at the moment. It's been broken since Route 8, and this thing better not be broken to Atlantean City or else it's not going to get to its full potential. Like, an easy fix. Now, with Enchanted Coat, I'd be taking even less damage. Think about that. And because I'm sluggish, I'm protected from status, even when I wake up on my wake-up turn. This thing can also 1v1 of Sidragon. It can 1v1... It's, it, it's so good. This thing is going to be such a staple. If you know how to use this thing, the other team is dead. I think the only counter to this is either going to be metal types or like if you predict it on a metronet swap like i really think that's the only way you're going to be able to kill this thing because you can't hypnotize it with re you can't get provoked you can't you cannot could you use deja vu no could you use hypnotize peace of mind provoke dark surge metronet all right well i guess we'll attack a probably on tv train protagon look at that Think about if I was Enchanted Coat. How much would that be doing? Nothing. It would be doing nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, the Robust Sluggish is definitely the personality to go. I wouldn't go like anything else. Robust Sluggish is 100% the best. And can you hit like twice for once? Or miss it? <laughs> That's an option too. This is KO. I could go. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm too scared. Oh crap. I'm gonna live easily. Like, look at this. I'd be up to full health. Holy crap. I want this. I want slumber to be fixed. Like, look at this. I, I'm, I'm so happy new Regif Lumen's in the game. I'm definitely gonna use this Cosmure in my team because. I adore Regift. If you guys don't know, Festfur is my favorite Lumion in the game. Um, it's either Festifer or Vanolan. It's a tie between those two right now. This thing, like, if he was, if Jamie was to give it, say, like, Mud Spatter, its best counter would be Stratosaur. Which is surprising, because the thing could 1v1 Stratosaur, theoretically. If you don't have Metal Shriek, you're getting 1v1 by a Cosmore. Because then it'll just Psycho Blast your range defense down, because, look at this. Fun fact. This thing does, in fact, have Psycho Blast. And think about this, too. You can swap in on a freaking Odasho. Goes for the Pestilence? That's fine. You'll outspeed it with because of its mm, defensive priority. Plus, plus, you have Regift. So you bounce back the Sap Plant, the Provoke, all of that. You'll Provoke it so it's only able to use Return to Sender. And think about that. If it's only able to use Return to Sender, then you can just spam your Peace of Mind while it's spamming that. Of course, you're not going to be able to KO it, but all you have to do is stall its energy out and keep your energy healthy. And then once its energy is like one, or you predict like a weight or a rest or something like that, then you can easily kill that. You can easily two kill that Adasha if you're like plus six. Say that. If you're plus six, you're not dying. Only Hunter, I think, would be able to kill you in that range. That is definitely going to be a GG. That is that was awesome. I am so happy he was able to get that provoke on like Arbantis. I. I don't even know. I have. It was like. I don't even know what happened. I'm gonna go and probably go hunt some more. Try to find a pure nimble SA1 myself. Anyway, see you in the next video. Goodbye.